Hi, uh, in the previous video we implemented server-side pagination in Next.js and there's another way to load data dynamically and that is infinite scrolling, I mean load data on scroll. So if I uh, if reload this page, you can see the loading indicator and the scroll bar is much bigger. As I scroll down, the scroll bar is getting smaller and you can see a loading spinner here. When all data are faced, the loading spinner is no longer there and our uh, scroll bar is much smaller than earlier now let's start implementing this so let's first add the folder so i'll name it infinite users you can name it however you want and let's add the paste file in it so paste.tsx now let's generate the markup so rfce and we'll call it infinite users now first i will add some state variables so these four state variables users total page page number and loading and let's bring the imports so is state from react and we have to import the user model from prisma client now let's add uh, a function for fetching users so let's call this fetch users and it will be asynchronous and first i will set loading to true then i will add some delay to uh, show the loading indicator you can uh, skip this if you don't want to uh, simulate the delay but I will uh, simulate this for this tutorial purpose so in PMI delay to install this library delay and now I will uh, add the delay for two seconds 2000 for two seconds and you can see that this is the import for this delay now let's call the api so this is the code and let's import axios i already uh, used it in paste component uh, paste user so this is the endpoint and we are uh, passing uh, paste number which is this one uh, initially it's one and it will be added as a query parameter we have added the logic in our api already so if you missed this please check my previous videos so here this is our uh, get uh, api here we are retrieving the page number here now if the page i mean if the response has the data then we are checking if the page number is one if the page number is one then we are just setting the users to this uh, data dot users that we are getting from the api else we are just appending it with the previous uh, users it's very simple and we are also setting the total pages uh, which we are getting from the api and now finally we can uh, set loading to false so set loading to false so this was our fetch users function so let's minimize it and let's call this function on uh, paste change so let's add the use effect we have to import this from react so use effect the function will be very simple and the dependency will be only page number we will just call this uh, fetch users in this use effect and that's it for this uh, function okay now let's add if another function for uh, handle scrolling and the when the user scrolls to the end we will update the page number so we can face the next set of users now let's call this uh, function handle scroll 
this will be synchronous function and first we will get the view height which is uh, the inner height and the scroll I mean this is the initial height and this is the height that we already scrolled so the total uh, height that user already viewed next we will uh, get the total height of the uh, page then we can uh, calculate this is if the these two height are equal then we can uh, decide that the user has reached or is called to the bottom so if that's so then we can add this if is equal and it's not loading then we will uh, increase the page number but we also have to uh, check this condition it's very simple we are uh, checking that if total page is greater than one i mean if total total page is only one then we uh, have no data to fetch and we are also checking that if page number is smaller than total pages if it becomes equal to total pages then we also don't need to uh, fetch any more users now if this condition is also met then we are uh, setting the page number to the and we are increasing it by one now let's add another uh, use effect to add this is as scroll uh, event listener so use effect and let's add this and there will be a dependency make sure to add this dependency here i will this loading as a dependency so here i will just add this uh, scroll event listener to this function and that's it we can uh, optionally or we should actually uh, return the cleanup function for this because this is an event listener for window object so after this uh, we should return this as a cleanup function of this use effect hook now we are done with the functions and let's minimize all of them now let's uh, return the markup and here we will return cards and loading spinners so let's head over to daisyui.com i am using this so to save some time let's copy markup from here so here you can see cards so let's copy this one so this markup and paste it here save it now let's remove this button we don't need it and let's uh, iterate so the users so users dot map and here we will get user and index we will return this markup which markup this markup so let's cut it and put it here and we will uh, output the user name here and maybe here we will output the user email so user dot email and let's save it and when we are in loading state then we will add this markup so loading and this one this one let's set this this is very simple a div holding a span with class loading loading spinner and loading flares this is uh, you can optionally add these class names to this div to style it more and we are done with this component now uh, i will go to the route for my paged users and i will increase it to four i mean i will increase the page size now let's run the project and see so npm run dev project is ready go to the browser and here i will go to slash infinitizers okay i have missed this thing use client i need to specify it so let's copy it and 
in the top I will put this is client save it okay now we can see our list of users the only missing thing is that we can add some margin top so you know uh, this div we can add mt2 for now and we save this and you can see that it's okay now now if i reload initially we have the loading spinner and the scroll bar is much bigger as we scroll down you can show the loading indicator at the bottom and the scroll bar has also become smaller and there's also another set of users and now it's finished i have only 10 users so that's it for this lesson see you in the next lesson